is the same is the same jails which which treat you know which which have horrible conditions for all inmates which also misgender trans people and put them in the wrong prisons it's the same it's the same damn system that is abusing all of us it's the same bosses which refuse to to hire trans people who actually squeeze all the profits out of their out of their current employees and exploit us therefore it's in the same interest of all people to fight together and to really um, support trans rights and to, and to really fight together i think um, it's, it, it's imperative for us to really come together in solidarity in all of our struggles because if we don't broaden, we, we will stay narrow and our struggles will not survive. Um, so if we want to win, we have to fight against all the oppression and all the bigotry because it's the same forces that are, that are um, at work to oppress us. There's a them, so we have to recognize that there's an us. You know, that we are united in our struggles. Um, and I would just also like to say that um, I saw a poster the other day which I think is very important. Um, I think it comes from the, from the Stonewall riots, but basically um, it said queer power and, um, you know, you gave us rights because we gave you riots. It's through struggle that we win. It's through struggle that we win concessions. Not just through asking for things, but for coming together and, and fighting and resisting. That's how we win concessions. Um, and I think that's an important thing to look at, is to, is to look at the history of the past and the history of activism through mass action and through mass struggle. That's how we win things. Um, and being inclusive and being open and allowing as many people to participate as possible and being democratic. Um, that's how struggles are won, that's how rights are won, that's how concessions are won. And that's what the resistance should look like today um, against bigots like Donald Trump in office, um, Republican senators, even Democratic senators who are like backwards and you know it's not our party you know so really the resistance must come from us it must come from the from below from from the people themselves organizing um, themselves um, that's what will win things that's the only way things have been won in the past and that's the only way things will be won in the future so yeah I just want to say solidarity um, you gave us rights because we gave you riots I just want to interject that this is a piece of artwork done by Mika Bazan, and they're selling these posters in, out in the West Coast and using the money to, to raise uh, funds for homeless trans people. And this, as a matter of fact, we have the big version of this. I think it got behind Mayor de Blasio uh, when they had some sort of a, a gay pride march. I mean, it's incredible how this has taken off and what it says is just what you're saying. You know, Marsha was a mother trans and queer liberation. She dedicated her life to helping trans youth, sex workers, and poor and incarcerated queers. We honor her legacy by supporting trans women of color to live and lead. So that's part of what this was about, too. I felt kind of strange because I figured, well, it's going to be mainly black trans people. So yeah, I'm really glad you were here. You, you, you were, you were the, you should, are you, uh, they should put you talking during the event itself. Do you know how they're picking their speakers? No, 